Well, along with back to school shopping for supplies and clothes, more often a skincare routine is something that a lot of young people want to start, right? But it yeah. leaves parents wondering, what's the best approach? Mm. Well, I caught up with TikTok sensation Dr. Anthony Yoon to give us the basics. There are three skincare products that pretty much all adults should use. You know him from his massive following on TikTok. His videos go viral and he has millions of followers. So it seemed logical to reach out to Dr. Yoon for back to school skincare advice. Well, skincare is an integral part of having healthy skin, but in some ways, less is more with skincare. You can overdo your skincare, so just use what you need. And that advice can be more simple than expected. Okay, so Dr. Yoon, what do you recommend for young people in terms of their skincare routine as they head back to school? Young people should really focus on a very simple skincare routine. It should be simple and easy. Every morning you want to cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser, and then you want to apply a sunscreen, especially if you're going to be out at least SPF 30. At night, super important, you got to cleanse your skin. You got to get rid of the day's worth of dirt, grime, pollution, and, and all that. And then you want to apply a moisturizer. Now, that's really it. You don't have to apply all these different things. Simple is better when you're young. So let's talk about pimples and breakouts, which a lot of kids experience. So what do you recommend for that? So pimples are multifactorial, meaning that there are a lot of different causes of it. So hormones could be a big issue, diet could be an issue, so definitely eating a good, healthy, balanced diet, reduce the amount of fast food and sugar that you eat, um, but also then you can add certain types of products if that isn't working. There are very simple and typically inexpensive anti-acne skincare routines for young people that you can buy at the drugstore. These typically entail ingredients like benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. Start with that. If that doesn't work, then I do recommend applying a retinoid like tretinoin. This is prescription strength, but it can really help with acne. Okay, so at what point is it time to see a dermatologist? Like, how do you know? So it's very common for young people, teenagers, to develop a pimple here or there. But if you're getting cystic acne, acne that is creating actual scarring, it is super important to see a dermatologist because you really want to nip that in the bud. So if you're getting scarring from the acne, you really want to get that stopped because that scarring can be permanent and something that you could have to deal with many, many years later. Well, joining us now is Dr. Yoon, who, along with parents, Jay Coleman, and Live in the D producer, executive producer, you know him. Now, Dr. Yoon, we love the simple steps that you gave in the piece. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this is because when I go to certain stores to buy my cosmetics, it looks like it's a junior high school recess <laughs> session, okay? <laughs> there are pr pr tween girls all over the place. There are a massive amount of young people who are rushing to these heavy-duty products from large beauty stores where they shouldn't even be able to afford the kind of things that they're trying to buy. Mm. They make TikTok videos about it. Young people are obsessed. But they're clearly not appropriate for that age group. So I've been in these stores, like I said, looks like a recess session <laughs> in middle school. But you brought in some examples of some of these active ingredients that kids should not be using because they just don't need it. Exactly, because there are so many products that are out there that are anti-aging. Well, tweens haven't aged yet. Yeah, no. you know, they are maturing. <laughs> right. It's when you get to that point and you're starting to get older, that's when yeah. you use things. So yeah, I mean, I brought a few examples. I mean, this is a fine line corrector. Well, they don't have fine lines, so why would you be you treating correcting? fine lines if you don't? Yeah. Money grab. Um, yeah. ex yep. Exfoliators, you know, exfoliators are great as you get older because your skin turnover slows down. Yeah. Right. But we're hoping to get it back to when we were in a teenager. Th that part. So you don't have to exfoliate teenagers skin it's already doing that naturally and then other things like brighten brightening creams retinol can be great if you're older if you've got an acne issue then putting children uh, on some type of a retinoid but you want to talk to a dermatologist first that can be helpful but just in general I mean if you've got beautiful skin then you just want to maintain it and have healthy skin habits absolutely yeah. so this is what you do need cleanser sunscreen moisturizer that's it with one exception which is this uh, product right here in the middle. And that's going to be the acne prone uh, teenager or preteen. That you do want to treat. And treatments can be very simple. I mean, this is just a simple, inexpensive uh, body spray with salicylic acid. Uh, salicylic acid is great because it will actually penetrate the pores and clean them out. 
very safe. Find one that does not have fragrance in it mm -hmm. because fragrance can be irritating to the skin. Mm -hmm. um, but that's really only if they need it. You know, okay. if your child does not have acne, then they don't, don't need bother. It. Yeah, don't they bother. Don't Just stick it. with the general cleanser, a moisturizer if desired, and a sunscreen. Healthy skin habits is really all we have to focus on. Now I have on. to bring in Dad, who has a very <laughs> serious look on his face, Jay, because you know you want to talk to your daughter about this kind of stuff. What yeah, do you have to say we were about talking this? a little bit behind okay. the scenes, but it's it's having that conversation. How do I go to my daughter and say you don't need all those things that you see on TikTok or online? We don't need to be going to the store to raid the aisles. What's that conversation? Really, I think you have to focus on what is necessary for their skin. And the fact that you can get on products like this and it can actually make their skin look worse. They can mm -hmm. break out from it. Their skin can get dry and irritated. Mm -hmm. And that's what they don't want. Kids don't want to stand out. You know, if you've already got beautiful skin, then stick with the basics mm -hmm. and save your money. You know, use that yeah. money to sure. get yeah. something else that you want. <laughs> yeah, a nice outfit absolutely. or something like that. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that look shut up so much. Yes. Okay, if, if the kids in your life are experiencing uh, skin issues, when do you know it's time to see a specialist? Yeah, so the main thing that you see in children that age is going to be acne. And when that acne starts getting cystic, when it gets painful, especially if it starts scarring, you got to see a dermatologist because you really want to nip that in the bud. That's one thing I see in, in adults as they get older. If they haven't treated their acne, they, they mm -hmm. never treat yeah, at the time, right. a lot of times they regret it and they start undergoing these treatments to try to reverse stuff that was done a long time yeah, ago. Okay, yeah, okay, great. Jay, do you feel empowered? I do. I mean, now we talked a little bit more behind the scenes, yeah. but knowledge is, I think, what empowers parents in this situation. That's so awesome. I do. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, every sure. decade your skincare should be a little bit different, mm -hmm. but when you start at that that early decade, it should you be very minimal. Yeah. yeah, he had a great TikTok video on that that uh, he just shared with me. So awesome. check him out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, Dr. Yoon, before we let you go, we hear that you have a new podcast. How can people oh, listen? You. Yeah, it's called the Dr. Yoon Show. It's everywhere you, uh, if you find podcasts to talk about skincare, cosmetic treatments, holistic health, all that. I Thank love you. it. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.